The Garden of Eden typifies man's original state of perfection before he began to have experience. The tree of knowledge means the life principle which can be used both ways. He bore the fruit of the knowledge of both kinds of experience, good and evil, freedom and limitation. Man must choose which kind of fruit he will eat. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Man makes his choice consciously but generally in ignorance. The serpent typifies the life principle viewed from the materialistic viewpoint. He casts man from his perfect state through his belief in duality and separation. Man chooses to depart from good and man alone must choose to return to it. As the fall of man was brought about through his own act, so the rise of man will be accomplished through his own act. God already is. Salvation is not a thing, but a way. The way of salvation is through the realization of man's unity with the world. Grace is the givingness of the Spirit to its creation, and is not a special law, but is a specialized one. In other words, grace is, but we need to recognize it. It is not something that the good imposed upon us, but is the logical result of the correct acceptance of life and of a correct relationship to the Spirit. We are saved by grace to the extent that we believe in, accept and seek to embody the law of good. Salvation is an act of man and not an act of God. Man damned himself and man must save himself if he ever is saved. He will save himself to exact degree that he stops damning himself. He will live in heaven when he stops living in hell. He will be healed when he stops being sick. He will become rich just as soon as he stops being poor. He will become as God when he stops masquerading as the devil. He will be happy when he stops being miserable. He will be at peace when he stops becoming confused. He will be perfect when he stops looking upon imperfection. And he will be saved when he stops damning himself. He will be one when he stops being two. We must realize the perfect universe if we wish to embody the greatest good. If the universe were not perfect, it could not exist for a single moment. It is self-evident that we live in a perfect universe, and if so, then everything in it must also be perfect. The truth is indivisible and whole. God is complete and perfect. A perfect cause must produce a perfect effect. Disregarding all evidence to the contrary, the student of truth will maintain that he lives in a perfect universe and among perfect people. He will regulate his thinking to daily meditate on the perfect life and to daily embody the great ideal is the way to sure living. This is a royal road to freedom and his happiness to the soul of man. We cannot afford to believe in imperfection for a single instant. Let us learn to look as good must look. With a perfect vision, let us seek the good and the truth and believe in them with our whole heart. Let us say daily to our inner selves, perfect good in me, perfect life in me, which is God, perfect being within me, which is God, come forth into expression through me and become that which I am.